Our last performer this evening, the language artist Sam Truitt, is the author of 10 books in the Vertical Elegies series, including Here's Way and Dick, A Vertical Elegy. He is the co-editor of Infiltration, an anthology of innovative poetry from the Hudson River Valley, and Eating the Colors of a Lineup of Words, the early books of Bernadette Mayer. Sam is director of Station Hill Press and lives in Woodstock. I just want to thank everybody for coming and thank David Schell for allowing us to do this here. Please welcome up Sam. favorite poems take place underwater. This one is called Holding Your Nose at 40 Fathoms. It is Easter afternoon and we walk to McDonald's beneath a sky of graphite clouds. But her favorite poems take place underwater. Before blood had become the seventh element after money. An ancient poem when it was still bereaved that everything that happens is matted with meaning and where would my life be if I turned around? But her favorite poems take place underwater. This one was written while we were taking a shower, slippery with soap washing, the black bird, its throat, its beak, its heart slamming against. Four hours watching the set, drank one beer, smoked eight cigarettes, and where would my life be if I turned around? And against her thigh splashed, the mind, and I found my body again under your hand, and the circuits of my body entered the palm, its throat, its beak, its heart slamming against my body again under your hand, and the angry men in their goggles pursue their mad career around the raceway of life, of life, of breath divided in and out. The loops of distraction as the scenery and the angry men in their goggles pursue the spectators at the edge of their lungs whipped in and out of view of the screaming cars and handsome Hansen in his marvelous eight. 
car grime streaking his lovely flushed face. The angry men in their goggles pursue with a red scarf streaming behind him. The violent flowers in our mouths and in the sky. And what is fun but taboo, speed, and love we must. Beneath a black umbrella ghosting through the rain. In his marvelous eight, car grime streaking his lovely flushed face. Teeth clamped to a stogie smoking through the form. And the blocks of 21st century houses and Bob is in the basement filming a subway chase in Boston. We've run out of oil. Forsythia blooms on the fences. And that's not all, but I meet Mark in an hour, and Bob is in the basement filming a subway chase in Boston, and Bob is in the basement tearing out the curtains, picking up where we left off, clothes strewn on the subway floor. Everything sad is remembered somehow. We must blaze a trail through the banks of marigolds. And sometimes we must crawl on our bellies through the dirt, picking up the polka left off on central toward what was left of the palace. The embattlements, the ringed garden, and the black bird perched in a window well at the last call saloon, winks to me like my old granddad in bathrobe and slippers, picking up where we left off, picking up where we left off. Oh brother, from somewhere near the solar plexus, straightening his shoulders, for granted in the big baffled smile of an old man slipping down through the graces, whipped in and out a view of the plow, an old man slipping down the grease hole. Watch out, son, the tail fuselage is on fire. What is the nature of rhyme in the hive's gold cluster? The moon that rose between each of our days. The night we held beyond each embrace. What is the nature of rhyme in the hive's gold cluster? Beneath graphite clouds, madam. soul is the seed of destruction, inviting you here, pilgrim, in the light of this crooked lantern hung between heaven and hell as dusk breathes in the mountain. And I step into this forest echoing what lip sings, what can't be heard but hears through all its branches at the end of all these identities nothing is real Things made without love turn out the same. 
identical to the task, but to make love, one is flung beyond creation. Her coast, it's impossible to measure. There is no way to get there. You can only get there from here. To the balls of my feet, to the brick of my loins, to everything I carry, the meat of my consciousness weighs nothing more than what nature's face leaps out. <laughs>